it's fall in South Carolina, and that means one thing, big bull red fishing in Georgetown. Plus, on this week's show, we feature a South Carolina certified shrimp bisque recipe. All this and a whole lot more, and it all begins right now. This week's destination is brought to you by Chevrolet. Chevrolet, finding new roads in the outdoors. Today's Chevrolet destination features another great fishing destination that you can find more information about by going to Bob's Top 16 at www.bobredfern.com. And be sure to check out all the award-winning Chevrolet vehicles at chevrolet.com for your next outdoor destination. Uh-huh, yes sir. Got a hook put in uh, here. Uh. Folks, that is none other than Captain Tommy Scarborough from Georgetown Coastal Adventures behind the controls of that Pin Battle 3. Ooh, man, oh man, Tommy. Yeah, up here by the. I, I, yeah, have I told bird. you how, how good styling and profiling you look? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you. I do good at this, don't I? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gee. Was in that battle. I'm serious. Huh? Look at him, huh? And folks, that is um, 60 pound Berkeley Braid. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, maybe they're starting to take off here. Yeah. Uh. Maybe it's going to happen. I'm serious. Yeah, that's just a new rod and reel outfit that I just got from Penn and the good folks at Pure Fishing. Yeah, that's the new Battle 3. Mm. There's been a lot of really good talk about I'm that serious. reel. It is good. See, how's it feel? Feels good. <laughs> Cause I fish a couple of them myself. I know you. <laughs> Man, conditions are great today. Mm. Temperature's right. It is. Everything feel good. I it, feel good. And you know, folks, I tell you what, you've always heard me say over the years that October is the time you have to come to Georgetown to fish for redfish. And I mean, we're talking the big ones. So we'll see. I, you know, it's hard to tell, you know, Tommy's into all this drama and theatrics and stuff. I you guess know. so, because I got to go around the boat. <laughs> I, let me see I where this back a little, is. I got to take a little walk. Well, let me see where my line is back here. So I can get it out your way. You might as well crank him in, I think. I Bob. will. I mean, all right, let's trade. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. Mm. Look at around, that. around the boat he goes. Look at that little rod bend. Where he stops, nobody knows. Mm. Come on, big bow. Now, folks, I tell you what. I've got two of these pin battle threes all lined up here today. But I'm also, on this one, I put some fluoro shield in the 30-pound test, okay? And we're going to see. I love this fluoro shield as well. A lot of you folks love the braid when you come, but I always like trying new things and I really do love this floral shield line from Berkeley. All right, Tommy. I'm trying. Okay. I'm trying. But golly. Mm. He working me, Bob. I know, He's I know. He working me. Well, I can't catch nothing if I ain't back in the water. Get out there. All right, I'm coming with a net, brother. Ooh, baby. I'm coming with a net. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Ooh. You ready? I'll be ready. Shoo! Nice, nice. Mm. It's a new pin rod and reel. Ugh. Oh, that's nice, Tommy. That's nice. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah man. Up, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, man! Nicely man. done. Nicely done. Right. Mm. Goodbye, big boy. All right, there you go. Come on. What you got, Bob? I don't know, but we'll see in a minute. <laughs> Your rod's bent. Woo! Look at it here. Ah, man. Listen, the, the hum of this pin battle. Oh, look at it. Oh, oh man. That's snugging a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more. <laughs> there you go. There we go. All right. I love, I love long love affairs with fish. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, here he comes. Get in there. Ooh, 
Help me. Oh, help me. Oh, Bo. Get the net. Look at that tail of that thing with all them spots. Get the net. Look at him. Woo. Oh, what my a goodness. Nice fish. Wow. Look at that big old bow. Woo. Oh, man, I love it. Wow. Wow. Look at the spots of that thing. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Lord, that's slime, Bob. You got it? No, you got it. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. Boy. Is there spots on the other side, too? Yeah. Looks like a crumpled up Clemson. Oh, yeah. Are they the same over there? Look at that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Wow, Pretty folks. good right Ooh, there. Ooh, look at them spots on that thing. Wow. I don't believe I've ever seen a red fish like that with all that many dots. Boy. Man. This is why you come to Georgetown in October, folks. Redfish, just like this. Slide off. There he goes. Woohoo! Man! Oh. Happy, Man, is that healthy, awesome. and gone. Stay tuned. More red fishing from Georgetown, South Carolina when we come back. Welcome to Upcountry, South Carolina. Discover the six counties in Upcountry, South Carolina that run from metropolitan cities with fine dining and cultural events to pristine natural beauty and all the adventure that goes with it. From hiking, rafting, to some of the best fishing in the southeast. Six counties, one state, a million opportunities. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. Find new roads. Well-qualified buyers get 2.99% financing on all 2022 Silverado 1500 pickups or current competitive owners get 32.50 total cash allowance on this Silverado with a 2.7 liter engine. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you by these great partners. Chevrolet, find new roads with Chevrolet by Lake Hartwell Country, the land by the blue wall, by the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste, by the old 96th District of South Carolina, come discover the unexpected wonders of South Carolina's 96th District, and by South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing, your one stop for all your company's promotional needs. All right. There we go. All right. He was running. Yeah, he's he was. Running. Man, he smoked that thing too. Shoo. Mm -mm. Now, folks, the, the tide is kind of going out. We had a, a, a really an exceptionally high tide, and it's probably one of the highest tides I've ever seen. So, so I tell you what, it has just been awesome. Really awesome this morning. Here we go. Come on. I may be giving up. Maybe give it up. Let me get up here. Mm. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on up here. Mm. Oh, boy. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now, folks, I tell you what. Comparatively, now this is another one of the pin battle threes here. Uh, that we've got rigged up today, but I've uh, also got Berkeley braid on there. So my point to you is choose the line that you like the best and I'll tell you what, I just wanted to try uh, both today out here. 
but I really do like the floral shield. And so, but as far as the, the handling of it, I mean, it, it, they're both just equally as good on these fish. Nice, nice, nice big red. Nice big red. We need red. to pick him up or do a water release on I, that one, Bob? I don't, you know, I will tell He's you. He's a good candidate for a water release. Yeah. All right, come here, big one. Here, I got him, I got him. You got him? You just hold the rock. Okay. Yeah, I got my little, got my little tool oh, here. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. He's a... Well, I got to hold him up for the camera, and then I'll let him go. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's get him in here. No, I guess we won't. No, I guess we won't. Well, you got him. You got him released. <laughs> he was released anyway. <laughs> I, tell you I know. What. He, ended up your, he ended up your snack time. We've, we've <laughs> used these little uh, white rods a few times on these things. I'm telling you. And they are still flat out fun on them. I know. You ain't kidding. Wow. Ah, Golly, he's, what a head he, he's, kind of, he's pretty stout. They don't feel like a great old big one, but Man, eight man. inches to 80 pounds, they're all good. I know, bro. Look at Ain't that. Ain't no such thing as a bad red let fish. Me get, let me get this one out of the water, because I got a feeling you're going to be coming this way with him. Yes, sir. -ree. And don't let me get in the way of Big T Scarborough, who's bringing yeah. in a red fish. Mm. That's right. We uh, <laughs> You know, at the very end of October. I know. Winter time's coming. Yep. But we do a lot of good winter fishing, you know. That's I'm the time we do a lot of our of meat fishing where we actually keep some fish during the winter. Yeah. Well, Especially near shore and all. We we have some really good winter days of fishing. South Carolina blessed with some really good Oh yeah. Winter days. Well, you know, and I really especially love the, the blast and cast that we've done with you, but, you know, I, we, we've got to get on doing that again. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll have to get that We've done back. the sea ducks, which is, that's a challenge in itself, okay? Yeah, well, when, when it's easy and they're last year, they didn't show up till like the last 10 days of season. Right. Really good like they should have. <laughs> Funny, you Talk about that. Let me get the net. Hang Yesterday, on. we seen our first three sea ducks of the year. Yeah. I'm coming. This one got a pretty old spot on his tail. Oh, too, man, that's a nice one. Yeah. You didn't think he was very big. Look at him. Well, just all my skill, <laughs> yeah. you know, just wears them down so easy. <laughs> oh, you're the man. Oh. Yeah, hold my Ooh, fish, Bob. I'm gonna hold your fish. Here, you uh, hold him. No, no, you you're, doing, you're doing good, oh Bob. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's lay him back. George Old male Coastal just Adventure. a drum. There he goes. Mm -hmm. Off to the hit There There we go. Well One done, more man. time. Well done, brother. Let's well go done. find something uh, else to get in. All right, bro. Coming up next, we head to the sportsman's table for a South Carolina certified shrimp recipe. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the Old 96 District. Comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick Counties, this region is rich in history, fishing, hunting, and small-town flavor. Old 96 District is part of the South Carolina freshwater coast, covering over 2,000 miles of shoreline, which offer many fishing opportunities and is home to the only wild turkey museum in the world. Local businesses offer a wide variety of unique gifts and foods. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the old 96 district of South Carolina. So walk away with Where will your new Chevy take you this year? Show you that Anywhere. Find new experiences, find new roads. Well-qualified buyers get 2.99% financing on all 2022 Silverado 1500 pickups or current competitive owners get 32.50 total cash allowance on this Silverado with a 2.7 liter engine. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. The ignition safety switch or safety lanyard, when worn, is designed to cut off the engine if the operator is thrown overboard. Wear it while your boat is in operation. This has been another safety tip from the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources.
Take a journey off the beaten path to Lake Hartwell Country. Tucked away in the northeast corner of South Carolina, Lake Hartwell Country is a hidden gem with waterfalls, mountains, beautiful lakes, and history dating back to Revolutionary War times. For the outdoor enthusiasts, Lake Hartwell Country offers fishing, hiking, water recreation, horseback riding, and so much more. Come visit Lake Hartwell Country, the land by the blue wall. As a reminder, as a board operator, you should always make sure your navigation lights are working prior to sunset. By law, they should be on from sunset to sunrise. Remember, safe boating is no accident. This has been another safety tip from the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina-grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. And welcome to the International Culinary Institute in Myrtle Beach, down on the beautiful campus of Ori Georgetown. And my guest today is Executive Chef Josh Morris. I tell you what, this guy is with Food Fanatics and U.S. Foods, but there's a story I gotta tell all the folks. This guy cooked on our show about 10 or 12 years ago. He was a chef at the Spotted Salamander in That's Columbia, right, South Carolina. Man, and you cooked tomato pie. I did. I did tomato pie about you a did. decade ago. And, well, brother, man, I tell you circle. what, Bo, it's awesome to have you back as another guest. Thank you. I'm happy but to be you're, here. You're a, you're a food fanatic. I am. I'm a food fanatic. I work all up and down the coast of South Carolina trying to help restaurants make it. Oh, wow. Okay, what are we doing today? This is going to be great. Today we're going to do a little southern shrimp bisque. So... I got some nice fresh local shrimp out of Georgetown. Okay. Um, now this didn't wasn't caught on the fly rod. By it wasn't the caught on the fly rod. rod. No, <laughs> no, no. I don't think he caught this one on the fly rod. Okay. He might have tried. <laughs> um, so a little celery, a little onion. Uh, we're gonna let that cook up a little bit here. Okay. Add a little bit of garlic as well. Oh yeah, spice of life. Man. And so one of the things I think when we, you know, when we get these nice fresh local South Carolina products is yeah. making the most use out of it, right? Oh sure. So. Most people throw their shrimp shells away, right? Right. So I'm using them today. Really? We're going to make a little shrimp stock. That way we're getting the most out of these products, ah, right? I we don't you. want it to go to waste. Yeah. we got these really nice shrimp. Yeah. Let's use all of it. Okay. So we're going to take those, toss them right in there with that. Because, you know, they're, you're right. There's still a lot of flavor There's in There's a those. ton of flavor in yeah. there. There's probably more in there than there is in the, than the, in shrimp, the shrimp itself. shrimp itself, yeah. So we can give that a little stir. You see, that. and you guys, all of you guys this year's on the show, thought Redford wasn't paying attention. Hey, huh? you're learning, right? I don't cook, but my <laughs> wife does. That's right, that's go. right. So we're gonna let that cook for a couple more minutes here. And as that's starting to heat up, I'm gonna take my other pan here, and I've got a little bit of a roux. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and start melting that down. All right. Huh. And that's just some flour and butter that I melted, mixed together, Yeah. equal parts. Hmm. Now that this pan here is kind of started to cook down a little bit. I'm gonna add a little water. Okay. We're gonna let that come up to a simmer. Throw a couple of bay leaves in there. We're gonna let that cook for maybe 20, 30 minutes, really get that flavor infused in there. I got you. And then, while that's happening, go ahead and continue to stir our roux. You wanna keep a close eye on that because it will burn It'll real burn quick on you. Yep. Yeah. So. Okay. So we've got our roux nice and melted down. We're gonna take a little bit of heavy cream. Okay. We're going to stir that in here. Make sure you're stirring really good. You don't want to make dumplings. You want to get it you want to get it nice and I got mixed you. in very well. Thank you there, Bob. Yeah, I made man. a little bit of a mess. Just, but, I can at least clean up. You know, you're know, you not trying hard if you don't make a little bit of a mess there in the go. kitchen. <laughs> so, you're not a real chef. That's right. Yeah. We're also going to take a little bit of tomato paste, add a little extra flavor in okay. there. Give that a good stir. Then we've got a little bit of shrimp stock that I made already right here. You know, shrimp bisque is, is really, it's good. I oh, mean, it's it really fantastic. Is. Yeah. You know, really and I was, I kind of thought about it's fall, you know, you want something warm and comforting. Yeah. So that's kind of what I was thinking about when we came in today, making something nice and hearty and warm and uh, still got a little bit of Southern flair with those shrimp. Well, folks, if you want to know what a bisque is, okay, it's kind of soup-like. It is. It's very much yeah, soup. Yep. Okay. I think traditionally they're thickened with rice. That's right. It's for all those guys out there catching shrimp with the fly rod. <laughs> That's it's, right. It's a soup, okay? There you go. So all while right. we let that come up to a simmer, I'm going to take a couple of these nice shrimp over here. Yeah. A little salt and pepper. 
toss them in the pan here, my nice cast iron skillet, get a little color on there. You really want to cook these quick and don't overcook them, right? They're, not, they're only going to take... Light pink and go. That's right, right? Yeah. I'm sitting there for a couple of seconds. Oh, yeah. And cast iron? And cast iron. This is my. This was my grandmother's cast iron. Oh, it's wow. been been in the family for quite some time now. You know, um, one of my one of my prized possessions there you here. Go. <laughs> All right, Josh. Man, now what's next? All right, Bob. It was just that simple. So now we're going to take it. We're going to spoon a little bit of our fist this? right into the bottom of this bowl here. Oh wow, that's that's a really got a nice color to it too. Oh, it's beautiful. That, that mm. tomato paste really gives it a yeah gives it a nice color. That butter, you can see it starting to come to the top to give mm -hmm. it a nice richness. Yeah. I'm going to take a couple of these shrimp here, put those right in the middle of here. Oh, they're going to sink down in there, but that's good. It's a little that's prize okay. down at the bottom. There you go. Mm. And then we got a little bit of creme fraiche here we're going to garnish with. Oh, wow. A little sprinkle of some sumac to give it, give it a little extra punch. Mm. A little micro green right on top. It's more South Carolina certified. There you right go. Right on top to finish yeah. it off. And there you have it. Oh so my gosh, Josh. Southern that's, shrimp bisque. That, 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 you know, it's awesome. I tell you what, that's two great recipes you give us. This one, and years ago, folks, and we still got it up on the sportsman's table, tomato pie with this guy right here cooking it. Josh, I can't thank you enough, okay? And I tell you what, U.S. Foods has got it going on. Certified SC program has got it going on. Right. You got it going on, and I appreciate thank you, you being a guest today. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, you, you bet. And folks, remember, as always, buy South Carolina. It's always fresh on the menu. Log on to CertifiedSCGrown.com, and you can see what's fresh on the menu every day. We'll be right back here again next week on another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit CertifiedSC.com. It's a matter of taste. Today we're talking about firearm safety in regards to transportation of a firearm. You want to make sure you keep the action open at all times and case the firearm when in transportation. This has been another safety hunting tip from South Carolina DNR. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking, offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. Want to know the difference between power bait and other soft plastics? Ask the fish. Berkeley scientists have thousands of flavors tested on thousands of fish. Natural, man-made, every bait that's ever hit the water. And no matter the shape, size, or color, power bait is the only one that is scientifically proven. Fish bite and will not let go. A good hunting safety tip is when you're hunting from an elevated stand, to use a haul line to get your bow or your rifle to the stand and out of the stand, but remembering to keep the muzzle of the rifle down at all times. This has been another safety hunting tip from South Carolina DNR. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these great partners. By the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, making life better in the outdoors of South Carolina. By Abu Garcia, fish to win with Abu Garcia by Upcountry South Carolina. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. By Southern Woods Plantation, offering the best quail hunting in the Southeast. And by Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. Bo, this one's, uh, I, I gotta have to tell you, he's a little stout. Mm. It's a good thing I got the reel all tuned up with the last one. <laughs> mm. That last one, he got almost got away from me. 
Come on up here, Tommy. Let's talk about Georgetown Coastal Adventures after you get that in there while I'm doing all the work here. Yeah, do the work, Bob. <laughs> do the work. Do what you got to do. It's all right. Yeah, look, tell all the folks, uh, you know, we've over the years, gosh, I, I can't even remember the number of shows we've done, but, you know, it just seems like not only do you keep getting better, the fishing keeps getting better. No, we're getting better. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, okay. Like, like most places, more pressure on these fish. We just have to fish better and smarter, honestly. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we've done everything, Bob. I don't think you've alligator hunted with me. No. But if somebody draws a tag, we do alligator hunts, and we do sea duck hunts, and we do marsh hen hunts. Now that, the blast and the cast. Yeah. We got to do that again here soon. Yeah, okay? we got to get a cast and blast in. And, and I tell you what, I'll do. I'll bring my 410. There you go. Okay. Right. We'll see how good you are with <laughs> it. And then, you know, I do a uh, handful of uh, puddle duck hunts out of the kayaks. I'll load oh, the yeah. kayaks up yeah. and we'll go back and get in the pothole. And uh, then, of course, our fishing, anything from fly fishing to inshore and backwater to right here off the beach and the jetties to well, look, one near of these, shore. One of these days, I gotta get on the fly rod. Gotta get you. <laughs> well, you've been practicing on them little <laughs> rick, creeks that are about as wide as my boat. We gotta, we gotta get you casting in something a little boat. bit bigger. Okay, rainbow trout though, it's a lot of fun, man. I just, oh, it, I ain't denying it. I just got fun. back from the Blue Ridge Mountains. We did it again. I seen you on there holding that old trout. <laughs> Well, you, you're driving me to be a fly fisherman on the fly yep. rod. Yeah, man. You need to be. <laughs> Just need to be. Folks, that's an inside joke. Yeah. Tommy, when we talk about fly fishing, it's always on the fly rod. So, you do. That's yeah. my thing. If I'm personally fishing, you know, <laughs> that, that's what I love to do. I, I love to throw old fly rod at them. <laughs> Just. Oh, yeah. Another nice red. Pretty oh fish. my gosh. Pretty fish. Oh boy. There we go. Mm. Here it come. All righty, gang. Woohoo. All right, folks, I tell you what, that's our show for this week. And we're going to get this one back in the water and let him go. Woo. Off he goes. I'm telling you, let me borrow that rag, but man, you always give me the bad one. Just a little bit. Yeah, I got this <laughs> clean one up here. I for noticed me. that. Uh huh. <laughs> get that. Well, folks, I tell you what, listen. It's always a great trip when you come over to Georgetown. You fish with this guy right here. Again, he's been a friend for over 22 years. Trust me, you can't get any better. You can't do any better. If you want to fish over here on the Atlantic coast, you can go all the way up from the Keys, all the way up to New York, but you won't find a better trip and a better guide than this guy right here. Well, we have, have fun anyway. Yes, we do have fun, man. <laughs> and I can't believe you got a haircut just for this. <laughs> no, it weren't for this. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, you can go back past shows and see how woolly I am. Oh, uh, I know, yeah, on the fly run. On the fly. That's it. Well, folks, listen, next week, another great show. As I always like to say, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours, too. We'll see you hey, right Bob. back here again next week on another episode of Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine. Is that getting hit? I think you got another fish oh, to catch. Well, we yeah. can still do that. I think you could. Uh,